Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. All right, just checking. <clears throat> I look strange today. I look incomplete for some reason. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's the way it goes. <clears throat> well, everybody, welcome once again. Um, I'm just going to go full screen and after that we can start the class, but of course I have to call the attendance first. All right. Um, here we go. Okay, can you all see the screen I'm sharing? Ah, I think I know it's because of the black color of this thing. There's a black chair behind me. That's why it looked incomplete. Anyway, let's get started. I just I just, just want to check. Can you hear me? Because I don't know. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> um, I'm calling your names. Just a second. Okay, just a moment. Here it is. Okay, Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. <clears throat> Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Here, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juárez. José Luis Hernández Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josué Isaías Najaro Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela Portillo García. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Present. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Present. Thank you. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm calling the names of those who did not respond. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. 
All right, let's begin. Um, can you see the screen? Uh, this is uh, welcome once again. It's Inglés Pre Avanzado Modulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. And this is session 13. This is the final week for this module. So uh, today is February the 6th of 2023 or 2023. So <clears throat> let's get started. Here's what we're going to do. This is the snapshot, first part. Hmm. The snapshot title is not here for some reason, but okay. The past and the future, that's the name of this unit or this section, which is section number five in the platform. So snapshot, 50 years of fads in the US. What is a fad? Does anybody know what a fad is? No idea. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'm going to, okay. What is a fad? A fad is something that is fashionable or becomes very popular for a while, but then declines in popularity. That's a fad. Okay. Uh, it's temporary. It's temporal. It's temporary, okay, it's temporary. So it's something that is fashionable or becomes very popular for a while, okay? So it's temporary, just the, just as uh, Gladys said, but then declines in popularity, okay? It becomes popular and after that, it becomes unpopular again. So you have 50 years of fads in the US. Let's take a look. So um, we have the first fad right here. Who can help me read this, please? There's a chat entry. Manuel Aristides says present. Okay, I'm going to register his um, attendance today. Thank you, Manuel Aristides. Okay, Gladys, the first one, please. The biggest toy fad in history, the hula hoop, is an introduced. Okay, is the hula hoop? Uh, 1958. Yeah, 1958, the hula hoop. Okay. Hay una canción infantil que dice baila con el hula hoop. Si la han escuchado yeah. alguna vez. Pero dicen hula yeah. hoop. <laughs> it's a hula hoop. That's the one. So the biggest toy fan in history, the hula hoop, is introduced in 1958. Okay. Sandra, Cecilia, and then Jenny Sanchez. 1964. <laughs> The Beatles hit the music scene launching Beatle Mania. Okay, that was 1964. Thank you, Sandra. What about the next one? Uh, Jenny Sanchez and then Luis Fernando. Disco becomes the newest dance craze. Disco Nin becomes, uh, sorry, 19? <laughs> sorry. 1975. Uh, yeah, thank you. Sorry yes. about the interruption. But yeah, disco <laughs> becomes the newest dance craze, 1975. You know, disco in the 1970s, that was very popular. A lot of rock artists, you know, released some disco songs also. So yeah, totally. Luis Fernando, you read the next one and then Rosa Esmeralda. Mortan more than 4.5 million Rubik's Cubes are sold. Mm -hmm. And the year? In, in 1980. 1980, yeah. More than 4.5 million Rubik's Cubes are sold in 1980. That was a while ago, like 43 years ago, the Rubik's Cubes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rosa Esmeralda, the next one, please. Pokemon. Pokemon because um, overnight mm -hmm. sensation. Um, yeah. 1998. Okay. Yeah. Pokemon becomes an overnight sensation. That was 1998 when Pokemon became very popular. I remember. And then the last one, Astrid Michelle, please. The Harry Potter series sweep the nation in 
2000. Yeah, the Harry Potter series sweeps the nation. The year was 2000. Okay, cool. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the snapshot here? Any questions? Okay, uh, Jenny Sanchez. What is the meaning of sweeps? Ah, the Harry Potter series sweeps the nation. This is informal. But it's informal. In, in um, a very literal way, sweep means barrer. <laughs> But that's very literal. Mm -hmm. So the Harry Potter series sweeps the nation, okay, which is toma por sorpresa la nación. But this is very, um, very informal language. But yeah, that's the idea. Any other questions about vocabulary? And the correct form to say that this, the, this oración. This sentence. I mean, this is this is correct, only informal. If you want to be more formal, maybe you can say something like uh, like Pokemon. Basically, it's the same idea. Pokemon mm -hmm. becomes an overnight sensation. You could also say the Harry Potter series becomes an overnight sensation. Speaking of which, you have the word overnight. What is the meaning of overnight? Does anybody know? What is the meaning of overnight? No idea? Overnight means de la noche a la mañana. Mm -hmm. So Pokemon se convierte en una sensación de la noche a la mañana. De, de una sola vez. So that's it. Any other questions about the vocabulary here? Rosa Esmeralda, do you have a question? No, no, no. Sure. Okay, okay. All right, no more questions. Okay, so, well, let's take a look. Have any of these fads ever been popular in your country? What do you think? Have any of these fads ever been popular in El Salvador? All of them? Some of them? None of them? What about the hula hoop? Do you think this was popular in El Salvador? I think so. But that was a long time ago, okay? That was before. I guess all of us were born. <laughs> okay, so the Beatle mania. I know that the Beatles were popular in El Salvador too. Disco, salsa music, popular. What about this? This is probably more of, you know, our time. The Rubik's Cube. Have you ever played with a Rubik's Cube? Never? Sandra Cecilia goes like, no, no, not me, not me. Okay. I try, but you it, try. It's not, my, it's not for me. It's not for you. No, it's not for me either. Don't worry. Okay. I have never been able to form one side of the rubber cubes. Just one side. Mm -mm. It's not for me. That's it's not the kind of toy that I would like that I like. But um I understand that there are methods. And there is more than one method, you know, to do this. And if you memorize the method, if you practice the method, you can do it. But in my case, I am too lazy to try. Anyway, so what about Pokemon? Okay, now, what about Pokemon? Um, what, what, Pokemon, I remember, became very popular here in El Salvador when I was about 14 years old, maybe 14, 15 years old. I remember I used to collect you know, the, I don't know what they're called in English, but in Spanish, they're called tasos, okay, that used to come in the potato chips. I'm not going to say the name of the brand, but yeah, um, I used to collect them and I had a lot of those, okay, those Pokemon tasos. It was nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Anyway, what about this one, the Harry Potter series? Have you ever, you know, read a book, a Harry Potter book? Uy, andan bien callados ustedes, quizás porque es lunes. <laughs> okay, you don't want to participate today. Come on. All right. Let's move on then. Yeah. In my case, I mm -hmm. don't see, I don't read the books, but I see the movies. All the yeah. movies. 
you've seen the movies okay yeah me too i've seen all the movies but i haven't i haven't read any of the books so anyway <laughs> so well anyway well let's do this okay um we have this part which is the lesson objective in this class you will listen to a conversation about where history notice how they make reference to time in the past well we're not going to listen to it but we're going to read it okay so we have Two people right here there's emma and there's steve i need one boy and one girl to help me read this jenny sanchez you help me read emma and one boy please to help me read steve's part please raise your hand Josue Isaias. okay let's do this look here is the quiz on event of the 20th century oh let me give a try i'm good at history all right, first question. When did World War I began? The World War First. I, Sorry. I think it began in uh, 19, uh, uh, 1917. 1917. Mm -hmm. Oh, and how long has the United, United Nations been in existence? Oh, since Kennedy became president in uh, 1961. Uh, six, um, next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they start in 1965 and broke up in 19... Uh, 18. So they were together for uh, 15 years. So how are you doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answer is correct. Okay. Thank you. Well, uh, Emma says, look, here's a quiz on events on the 20 of the 20th century. Steve says, oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. Emma says, all right, first question. When did World War I begin? Steve says, I think it began in 1917. Emma says, huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Steve says, uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Emma says, hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Steve says, well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how am I doing so far? Emma says, not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Anyway, <laughs> so here we go. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary and the conversation? No questions? All right, then. What are we going to do? Well, this is the lesson objective. It's grammar now. By the end of this class, participants will be able to refer to time in the past using different ways. That's 5.2, lesson objective. So what is this? Now, um, if you go to the platform, by the way, it's not open here. I need to open it for every class. If you go into the platform and you see section 5.3, you will see a nice video of uh, Miss Jessica explaining this to you. And here's the thing, referring to time in the past. When you talk about a point of time in the past, for example, when did World War II take place? During the 1940s, during the 1940s. In the 1940s is also possible over 60 years ago, it's a long time. When you talk about a period of time that continues into the present, you say, how long has the United Nations been in existence? You can say since 1945. You can also say since World War II ended or for, a, for about the last 60 years. When you talk about a period of time in the past, you say, how long were the Beatles together? from 1960 to 1970. 
for 10 years. So what is this? I want you to take a good look because again, as this information is insufficient, okay, we're going to go into it in more detail. So <clears throat> everybody take a good look. You have for, during, and while. This is extra information. It's not in the platform. So everybody, please pay close attention. For and during, okay? Very important, for and during. How does it work? Take a look. We use for plus a period of time to say how, excuse me, I found the first typo. Missing W. Okay, again, we use four plus a period of time to say how long something goes on. In other words, the duration of an activity. Okay, so you can say, for example, for two hours, for a week, for ages. For ages, of course, is an exaggeration. Okay, when you say for ages, that means a long time, a very long time, but it's an exaggeration. A very long time can be two hours or 10 years. So it depends on your point of view and it depends on what you want to say. So for two hours, for a week, for ages. This is like what you say in Spanish, Está esperando aquí como mil años. Okay, of course, that's an exaggeration, but that means you're referring to a very long time. So there are four examples right here. Who can help me read them, please? We need a volunteer. Four, uh, sorry, uh, four examples. I need a volunteer, please. Sandra. We watched TV for two hours last night. Mm -hmm. The next one. I read the other. Yeah. Jessica, Jessica is gonna going away for a week in September. Mm -hmm. uh, where have you Where have you been? I've been waiting for age. For ages. Are you going ages? ages. Mm -hmm. Are you going away for the weekend? Thank you, Sandra. So yeah, we have four examples. We watched TV for two hours last night. So you say for two hours, that's a period of time. Okay, for two hours. Jessica is going away for a week in September. Again, for a week is a period of time. That's why you use for. Why am I holding this thing in my hand? I don't know. Okay, next. Where have you been? I've been waiting for ages. Okay, again, when you say for ages, it's an exaggeration. Maybe this person has been waiting for one hour, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. So when you say for ages, it's, it's exaggerated language. And the last one, are you going away for the weekend? The weekend is a period of time of two days, okay? Three, if you count Friday. So are you going away for the weekend? There you go. So again, remember, we use four plus a period of time. That's the rule right there. If you want to use four, it has to be followed by a period of time for two hours, for a week, for ages, for 30 minutes, for seven days, for et cetera, et cetera. But what about this? And here's where it becomes a bit tricky. We use during plus a noun to say when something happens, not how long. Be very careful here because it's easy to get confused, okay? You can say, for example, during the movie, during our holiday. By the way, holiday is a vacation. I'm going to change the word, vacation. Holiday is too British. This is more American. So during the movie, during our vacation, during the night, during the class, you can say, right? during the day. So again, be very careful because we use during plus a noun. You use during plus a noun, not a period of time, okay? And you use it to say when something happens, not how long it happens. And there are three examples right here. Who can help me read them? Please, I need a volunteer, a different person this time, please. 
volunteer to read the three examples. Let's do this. Alejandra Magaña, and then Jenny Sanchez, you go for the next ones. I have more slides with examples. So Alejandra, please. I fell asleep during the movie. Mm -hmm. We met some really nice people during our holiday. We're going to change the word for vacation. Okay, but please, number three. Okay. The ground is wet. It must have rained during the night. Thank you, Alejandra. Yeah, I fell asleep during the movie, like the picture. You can see it here. I fell asleep during the movie. Okay. So we met some really nice people during our vacation. And the ground is wet. It must have rained during the night. So again, during plus a noun, during the movie, during our vacation, during the night. And we use four with periods of time for two hours, for a week, for ages, for three years, for a decade, for 30 minutes, et cetera, et cetera. So there is a difference right there. You have to be very careful with that. Now, what is next for enduring? Okay, before we continue, do you have any questions about this? Josue Isaias. Teacher, what does me uh, going away? Going away is when you go on a trip or you go on a journey. For example, if you go to the beach, you go away. Or if you go to a different country, you go away. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning. Like you mean the second example, right? Just Jessica is going away for a week in September. So she has vacations, maybe. So she's going to Mexico, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. You go away. That's that's the meaning of going away. All right. Next part. What about this? For and during. We were studying for and during. Now we continue. With time words. Now, what are the time words? For example, the morning, the afternoon, the evening, the summer. You can usually say in or during. So basically, you can choose. For example, now, um, who wanted to participate? Ah, Jenny, Jenny. OK, Jenny Sanchez, can you help me read this, please? The two it examples. It must have rained in the night during, in the night, during the night. Uh-huh. I will call you sometime during the afternoon, in the afternoon. Correct. Thank you very much. Oops. I think I'm going to make this, yeah, looks better like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, again, with time words, for example, the morning, the afternoon, the summer, you can usually say in or during. You choose. You say, it must have rained in the night, or you can say, it must have rained during the night. Okay, I'll call you sometime during the afternoon, or you can say, I call you sometime in the afternoon. Okay. It's the same thing. Now, very important. You cannot use during to say how long something goes on, okay? What do you use to say how long something goes on? You use for. It rained, sorry. It rained for three days without stopping. This is correct, but if you say it rained during three days without stopping, that will be incorrect because when you say three days, that's a period of time. So with periods of time, you have to use the preposition for. You don't use during, you use for. Remember, you use during plus a noun. Now compare during and for. There's an example right here. Who can help me read it, please? Need a volunteer. Come on. It's just one sentence. No volunteers today. Okay. All right. So you have, I fell asleep during the movie. I was asleep for half an hour. So you use during with a noun, during the movie, during the class, during the lecture, during the meeting. You see? during the course, et cetera, et cetera. 
But then you say for half an hour, for 30 minutes, for two days, for three years, for, I don't know, uh, three weeks, et cetera, et cetera. That's the difference between during and for. Now, what are we going to do today? You're going to do this. Okay, right here. For, during, and while, okay? However, we haven't studied while, but the first exercise is all about for and during only. So put in for and during. It rained for three days without stopping. Three days is a period of time. That's why you have to use for, okay? The next one, I fell asleep during the movie. The movie is a noun. That's why you have to use during. What about number three, volunteer? Who wants to try? Jasmine, Vanessa, number three, please read it. I went to the stadium last night. I met. I met Susan. I met Susan for during the halftime. Oh, I I didn't notice the answer is already there. Okay. I did it on purpose to see if you were paying attention. Nah, just kidding. Okay, <laughs> now it was my mistake. I, I apologize. I met Susan during the halftime. Let me check if I haven't made the same mistake twice. Mm, no, okay. Thank you, Yasmin. <laughs> okay, Gabriela, Stephanie, and then Ever de Jesus. Number four, please, Gabriela. And then Jenny, number five. Okay, let's do this. Number six, I'm sorry. Martin hasn't lived in England all this life. He lived in Brazil for four years. Lived in Brazil for four years. Thank you, Gabriela Stephanie. Now, Ever de Jesus Candrai, number five, please. Candrai, number five. Okay, that kind of rhymes. Okay, so. so the production at the factory was seriously affected during the strike. During the strike, okay, that is correct. Durante la huelga, okay, correct. Thank you, Ever. Jenny Sanchez, number six. Then Astrid Michelle, number seven. Then Rosa Esmeralda, number eight. I felt really, I felt really sick last week. I could hardly eat anything for three years. For three years? Oh my God, that's not possible. <laughs> you mean for three days? Okay, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, I felt really sick last week. I could hardly eat anything for three days. Thank you, Jenny Sanchez. Very good. Well, the, the thing is, the preposition is correct. That's good. That is really good. So that's the important thing. Astrid Michelle, number seven. I waited for you for half an hour, and I decided that you weren't coming. I waited for you for half an hour, half an hour, and decided that you weren't coming, so I left. Thank you, uh, Astrid Mission. That is correct. Number eight, Rosa Esmeralda. Number number eight and number nine, Jose Luis Hernandez. Um, Sandra was very angry with me. She did speak to me. She didn't speak. Didn't. Speak it to me. Um, um, for a week? For a week. Yeah, that's correct. For a week. You say week is a noun. Yeah, but it's also a period of time of seven days. So, yeah, for a week. Thank you, Rosa. The next one, Jose Luis Hernandez. What do you have? We usually go out at weekends, but we don't go out during the week very often. During the week, okay, that's right. Very often. Mm -hmm. It's not the same to say for a week and during the week. When you say for a week, you're talking about a period of time of seven days. And then when you say during the week, you're talking about a week specifically from Sunday to Saturday. Okay, so two different things right there. Correct. Thank you, Jose Luis. Number 10, volunteer, please, who wants to try? There are mosquitoes here. Okay, Olivia Osorio. 
Jack's son a new job a few weeks ahead before that he was out for of work for six months. Correct. Jack started a new job a few weeks ago. Before that, he was out of work for six months. Thank you, Olivia. That is correct. Very good. Number 11, who wants to try? Gladys Imelda. Let me see. Um, I need a break. I think I'll go away for a few days. For a few days. That is correct. I need a break. I think I'll go away for a few days. Very good. Thank you, ladies. Walter René, number 12. Okay. The president gave a long speech. He spoke for two hours. He spoke for two hours. The president gave a long speech. He spoke for two hours. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Number 13. Thank you, Walter. That is correct. Okay. 13, who wants to try? There's a chat entry here. Uh, okay. Uh, Luis Fernando sent a message. Okay, Luis Fernando, I get it. Thank you. Um, who wants to try number 13, please? Raise your hand. 13. Astrid Michelle. We were hungry when we arrived. We hadn't had anything to eat during the trip. We hadn't had anything to eat during the trip. That is correct. Thank you, Astrid. Very good. And Sandra Cecilia, the last one, number 14. Yeah, that's what I used for. Oh, come on. Let's read yes, it. Yes, I know. Yes, it is true. Uh, oh, come on, let's but, read this. But it, it's there, it's there. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's ah, uh, we we were we were we were hungry when we arrived. Mm -hmm. We hadn't had anything for it for eight hours. For eight hours. Okay, that is right. It's pretty much the same sentence uh, as number thirteen, but the ending is different. So we hadn't had anything to eat during the trip, and we hadn't had anything to eat for eight hours. That is correct. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, good. All right, I think you understand the difference between for and during very well, okay? That is great. What time is it? 8.38, yeah, still have time. Now, okay, this is extra also. During and while, okay? How do you use during and while? Well, we use during plus a noun, as we just mentioned a moment ago. And we use while, and it's a bit tricky, so everybody pay close attention. We use while plus the subject and a verb. In other words, we use while with a clause. Examples. I fell asleep during the movie. It was a movie on TV. But what happens if you want to express a very similar idea using while? You say, I fell asleep while I was watching TV. What's the difference? The difference is that you use during plus a noun and you use while plus a subject and a verb. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep while I was watching TV. This is correct. If you say I fell asleep during I was watching TV, that doesn't make sense, okay? That's why you have to use while. All right. Again, you use while with a subject like I and a verb like was watching TV, et cetera, et cetera. Second example, we met a lot of interesting people during our holiday, during our holiday. You use during plus a noun. So far, so good. Similar example. I'm going to change the word holiday. This should be vacation. I'm sorry. All right, let's see, is there any other holiday here? No, okay. We met a lot of interesting people during our vacation. What about while? We met a lot of interesting people while we were on vacation. Now, the, the thing changes because you have we 
which is a subject, and wear, which is a verb. While we were on vacation. This is the correct form. If you say, during we were on vacation, that doesn't sound okay, and it's grammatically incorrect. So careful right there. Finally, you have uh, Robert suddenly began, again, <laughs> I have some words that don't belong. Hey, there's that letter M right there. Okay, Robert suddenly began to feel sick during the exam. He was taking an exam and then he started to feel sick. Or Robert suddenly began to feel sick while he was doing the exam or while he was taking the exam. She sounds more American actually. Sorry, there are mosquitoes around here and they're biting me. Okay. So that's the idea. During plus a noun. During the movie, during our vacation, during the exam. But then you use while with the subject and the verb, like while I was watching TV, while we were on vacation, while he was doing the exam. That's the difference right there. There are some more examples of while. I need a volunteer to help me read them. There are three, please. A volunteer who can help me read these. Please, pretty please, with sugar on top. Okay, Gladys Imelda. Um, we say to read. Uh, right here, we saw. We saw Claire. We saw Claire while we were waiting for the bus. We saw Claire while we were waiting for the bus. Second example. Can you help me, Gladys, with the three of them? While you were out, there was a phone call for you. While you were out, mientras andabas afuera, while you were out, there was a phone call for you. Thank you. And the yeah. third one? Alex read a book while I watch TV. Alex read a book while I watch TV. Alex leyó un libro mientras yo miraba la tele. O yo miraba la tele. So, that's the idea. Remember, while is followed by a subject and a verb. We were, you were, I watched, etc., etc. Now, here's something that you need to know. When you're talking about the future, you use the present, not will, after while. Muy importante, si ustedes tienen while y se refieren al futuro, no le vayan a poner will. Okay? Eso estaría incorrecto. Examples. I am going to Singapore next week. I hope to see some friends of mine while I'm there. And you don't say while I will be there. That will be incorrect. So don't do it. If you use while to refer to the future, never use will. Use while and the present form. Second example. What are you going to do while you're waiting? This is about the future, but you don't say while you will be waiting. That will be incorrect. So be very careful. Once again, if you use while to refer to the future, don't use will. Use present forms. Okay? See some of you are taking notes. That's good. Okay. Exercise time. Or during and while now. This time you have to tell me if it is during or while. Those are the two only options, during or while, during or while. So putting during or while. Number one, example. We met a lot of interesting people while we were on holiday. Number two, we met a lot of interesting people during our holiday. Number three, who wants to try? Carlos Alfredo. I met Mike while I was shopping. I met Mike while I was shopping. Okay. Sacar dormido ahí, Carlos. 
<laughs> okay, number three. Thank you. That is correct. Okay, number four. Who wants to try? Sandra Cecilia. Es que esta hora quiere ganar. <laughs> okay, Sandra. While I was on vacation, I didn't read any newspaper or what of what what TV. That is correct. Thank you. While I was on vacation, I didn't read any newspapers or watch TV. Thank you very much. Number five, Jose Luis Hernandez. During our stay in Paris, we went to a lot of museum, museum and galleries. We went to a lot of museums and galleries. Okay. So during our stay in Paris, we went to a lot of museums and galleries. That is correct. Thank you, Jose Luis Hernandez. Paola Maria, number six is yours. My phone ran while we were having dinner. My phone rang while we were having dinner. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Paola. Ever de Jesus Candray, number seven. That's yours. Okay. There was a lot of noise while while the night was what? While the night, are you sure? Um, okay, let's take a look. Let's okay. remember. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. No, no, during, during the night. During the night, yeah, that's right. Because the night is a noun, a noun phrase. So you use during. Very good, thank you, Ever. So there was a lot of noise during the night. What was it? Okay, then we'll continue with Jasmine, Vanessa, Carlos. Uh, uh, Carlos, did you want to participate again or is your hand up? Yeah, I, I want to. Ah, okay, to you participate. want to participate again. Okay, then Alejandra Magaña and then Olivia Osorio. Okay, number eight, Jasmine, Vanessa. I've been away for many years. For that time, many things have changed. Well, uh, but the only options according to the instructions are during or while. So not for in this case. So I've been away for many years. What about this? Just during. Being, that is correct. During that time, many things had changed or many things changed simply. Okay, so uh, thank you. Carlos Alfredo, number nine, please. Okay, uh, what did they say about me while I was out of the room? What did they say about me while I was out of the room? <laughs> thank you, Carlos, that is correct. Very good. Alejandra Magaña, number 10, please. I went out for dinner last night, unfortunately. I began to feel sick during the meal and have to go home. Correct. I went out for dinner last night. Unfortunately, I began to feel sick during the meal and had to go home. Thank you, Alejandra. That is correct. Thank you very much. Number 11, Olivia Osorio. Please don't not interrupt me. Interrupt me. While I'm speaking. While I'm speaking. Yeah. Dice ahí para que no piensen que yo lo estoy diciendo. Please don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. Toque ha grabado. <laughs> so, yeah, it goes, please don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. That is correct. Thank you, Olivia Osorio. Very good. Number 12. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos, Carlos Alfredo wants to participate a lot today. Okay, very good. Uh, 12, yeah. uh, there were many interruptions during the president's speech there were many interruptions during the president's speech that is correct okay very good great number 13 Who wants to try number 13 number 13 uh carlo okay but uh, well thank you carlo thank you thank you very much okay but I, but i want to give some other people the opportunity too but i really appreciate it no problem. Thank you. thank you, thank you. Okay, but what, I, what I'm saying is true, right? I see the same people participating. What about the rest? Let's let's try, okay? 
Algunos solo les oigo la voz cuando me dicen present teacher <ríe> al principio de la clase. Vamos, tratemos de participar. Walter René. Ok, Walter. Can you hold my bag while I try on this jacket? Can you hold my bag while I try on this jacket? That is correct. Thank you, Walter. Very good. And number 14, Lilian Estela Portillo Garcia. We were hungry when we arrived. Uh, we were hungry when we arrived. We hadn't had anything to eat uh, while we were no, while we were traveling. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't <laughs> had anything to eat while we were traveling. Yeah, correct. Thank you, Lilia and Stella. That's very good. You see, easy, very easy. Okay, good, good. I, I like it. I, I see that you have a good idea how, on how to use, sorry, for, during, and while. That is great. Okay. Apuesto que antes de esta clase había como ciertas dudas ahí de cómo ocupar esto, pero creo que ya están un poquito... Eh, ya todo está más claro. Okay, that is great. Um, it's 8.51. We still have about nine minutes. So let's do this. We're going to do this final exercise right here. Or during and while. Putting during or while and complete the sentences. I think I got the wrong instructions, okay? Complete the sentences with your own information okay now what about number one i fell asleep while what can you say you need to complete this use your imagination or you can use your own experience to do this or simply you can say complete the sentences with your own ideas okay that's better alejandra magaña number one I fell asleep while I was reading a book. I fell asleep while I was reading a book. Yeah, that's why you don't have to read books um, on your bed, <laughs> okay? Because, you know, you always fall asleep. I always fall asleep if I read in the bed. Thank you. That is very good. Lilian Estela Portillo, number two, please. I feel asleep during the noon. I feel sorry. Uh, I apologize. There's 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 a mistake here, a typo from my part. So it's I fell asleep. Me dormí. I fell asleep during. You said, Lilian. During the, I don't know how to say. The afternoon. <laughs> a mediodía ah. after the. Uh, el mediodía es noon. Uh -huh. Sin embargo, el mediodía es un periodo de tiempo bien cortito, así que no podemos ocupar during. Más bien se dice during. at noon. Uh -huh. Maybe you can say during the afternoon, en la tarde. During the afternoon. Uh -huh. okay. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I fell asleep during the afternoon. I'm going to get a bit closer. This chair is very uncomfortable. Okay. So, yeah, thank you, Lilian. I fell asleep during the afternoon. What about number three? Carlos Alfredo, and then Jose Luis. Nobody can, nobody came to see me while I'm resting at my, my home. Nobody came to see me while I was resting at home. Okay, well, grammatically correct. <laughs> It's good that nobody came to see you because they would have interrupted your, your rest. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, maybe if we say something like, nobody came to see me while I was sick at the hospital, maybe. <laughs> That could be another one. But yeah, very good. Jose Luis Hernandez, what about number five? Most of the employees look confused during... Uh... What? <laughs> mm -hmm. Most of the employees look confused during. Um, 
how do you say uh, reunion? The meeting. Oh, maybe the meeting. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You can say that most of the employees look confused during the meeting. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Luis. What about number six? Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Luis Fernando. Number six. Yes. They, they ask they ask me a lot of questions during uh, one hour. Okay, but if you say one hour, that's a period of time. You cannot say during one hour. Uh, and then during a, a half a day, during the day, I guess it's possible. Okay, but um, let's imagine, for example, that you want to get a new job. So if you want to get a new job, you have to go to a special kind of meeting in which they ask you questions. What is that? Uh, in a new job. Mm -hmm. But before you get the job, you have to go through a process. What process is that? Who can help uh, us here? Maybe Astrid and Michelle can help us a little bit. During the interview. Yeah, that, 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 that pro, that's probably better. Okay, so they asked me a lot of questions during the interview, okay? Si lo están enjuiciando, puede decir también. They asked me a lot of questions during the trial, <laughs> durante el juicio. Okay, you can say all those. Okay, thank you, uh, Luis and Astrid. Thank you very much. What about number seven? Raise your hand, please. Gladys Imelda. Bring up and record those while is and va caminando. Okay, you can say something like don't open open the car door while the vehicle is in motion. Okay. Ahora la puerta del carro mientras el vehículo está en movimiento. That's one. Okay, yeah, totally. Don't open the car door while the vehicle is in motion. Okay, good. We're going to change this. Okay. Thank you, ladies. What about number eight? Who wants to try? Oops, um, it's all over the way. So uh, number eight. Mm -hmm. Everybody's thinking of a good answer right here. Josué Isaías. Okay, the lights surely went out while uh, they were watching TV. Okay, the lights suddenly went out while they were watching TV. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Josué Isaías. Very nice. Number nine. Who wants to try? Number nine. Ever de Jesus. Okay, it started to rain during we walk onto the road. But you have to be careful because we say during we were walking or we walked, that's a subject and a verb. 
we cannot use during with subjects and verb. If that's the case, you have to use while. And we can say to um, during during the night. Then the night is uh, early. Yeah, or? it's possible. Uh, it started to rain during the night. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Totally. You can also say, for example, it started to rain during the concert or it started to rain during the festival. It started to rain during the uh, meeting. During the meeting, yeah. <laughs> Although usually the meeting should be indoors, but yeah, yeah, that, that can happen. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, number 10. Now you have to use while. Okay, Jose Isaias. It started to rain while we went on the road. While we were on the road. It started to rain while we were on the road. Okay, you can use it totally. Thank you, Jose Isaias. And the last one, so we can finish. Yeah, it's time to finish. So number 11, who wants to try? Number 11, come on. Sandra Cecilia. What are you, what are you going to do while I want to study? While you're going to do while, can you repeat it, please? While I, I was studying. While I was studying. Well, but the thing is that when you say, what are you going to do? That's the future. And when you say, well, I was studying, that's the past. So you're kind of combining the future with the past. Maybe, what are you going to do while I study? Maybe. ¿Qué vas a hacer mientras yo estudio? Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. So what are you going to do while I study? There you go. Very good. Thank you, everybody. It's nine and two, so we have to finish this class. Um, I'm just going to call the attendance one more time, just the ones who, from whom I haven't gotten a response, which are just two people. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Present. Thank you. And Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, full house today. Thank you everybody for your patience, your dedication and uh, your willpower to be here, <laughs> okay, at night. So I will see you tomorrow, remember, this is the last week, so you have to complete all the exercises and all the sections in the platform. Please do it, okay, so that by Thursday, everything is complete and you have no problems whatsoever after that. So again, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow and good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.